Classical conditioning is a learning process where an individual learns to associate a previously neutral stimulus with an unconditioned stimulus, leading to a conditioned response that was originally elicited only by the unconditioned stimulus. The discovery of classical conditioning begins with Ivan Pavlov, a Russian psychologist who stumbled upon this phenomenon while studying something entirely different. His discovery would forever change the way we understand learning. Pavlov observed that dogs started to salivate not only when they tasted food, but also when they saw the lab assistant who usually fed them. This prompted Pavlov to set up his classic experiment. Here's where it gets interesting. Pavlov rang a bell every time he fed the dogs. Initially, the bell meant nothing to them. But after repeated pairings, the dogs began to associate the bell with food. Soon, they started salivating just at the sound of the bell, even when no food was presented. This is classical conditioning in action. But what does this experiment tell us about learning? Classical conditioning is based on four key principles. First, unconditioned stimulus and response. Second, conditioned stimulus and response. Third is generalization. And fourth is discrimination. Let's see how this acts out in the experiment. So first we have food, which is an unconditioned stimulus naturally eliciting an unconditioned response, salvation. The bell, initially neutral, becomes a conditioned stimulus after being paired with the food, causing a conditioned response, salvation and anticipation of food. But it doesn't stop there. If a dog reacts similarly to different bell sounds, that's generalization. If it learns to differentiate between different bells, that's discrimination. But how does this happen in the brain? Well, when a neutral stimulus, like the bell, is repeatedly paired with an unconditioned stimulus, like food, neural connections in the brain are strengthened. This process, known as synaptic plasticity, allows the once neutral stimulus to trigger a similar response. It's a prime example of how our brains are wired to associate and learn from experiences. But what happens if the bell rings and no food comes? Well, over time, the conditioned response weakens, a process known as extinction. But fascinatingly, the response can spontaneously reappear later, a phenomenon known as spontaneous recovery. Classical conditioning isn't just a laboratory curiosity. It's a vital part of our daily lives, influencing behaviors, emotions, and even therapies for various psychological conditions. 